we understand the mechanism of an erection, we can begin to understand why men can have troubles uh, achieving an erection and how some of the medications that we use to treat erectile dysfunction actually work. So if we take a deep dive into the microscopic aspects of an erection, following arousal, there is usually dilatation of blood vessels. Those blood vessels allow more blood flow to enter into the penis. As the penis engorges and becomes filled with blood, the veins that allow blood to exit the penis are compressed. So more blood flow gets into the penis than blood leaves, and we end up with an increasing amount of blood within the penis that gives rigidity, increased girth, increased length, and everything that is associated with an erection. So why is erectile dysfunction so common? Well, if we take a step back and look at some of the causes that result in this condition, it may explain why. Crudely speaking, we divide erectile dysfunction into two main causes. One is organic and the other is psychogenic.